Hi and welcome everybody. So this video shows an easy way uh, of shutting down and starting VMs on a schedule uh, within Azure. So normally you would do this uh, for your servers that don't require to be running 24-7. Uh, therefore saving money on compute costs. Uh, be aware that the, the storage costs still apply uh, even when the, the VM is shut down, deallocated. But it's, it's a great way to save money on test VMs or VMs that are only used in, in the day, for example. So we can sh schedule uh, a shutdown overnight, uh, say 7 p.m., and then start back uh, the VMs up again at 7 a.m. in the morning. So this is part one uh, of two, where we'll be uh, using a simple PowerShell script um, in Azure Automation Runbook uh, to schedule VMs uh, to start up and shut down. Part two um, of this video set will use uh, Logic Apps um, to read the uh, automation output uh, via a PARS JSON connector. So this allows you to create uh, a Logic App uh, schedule the shutdown from the Logic App um, and be more flexible by adding other components like email, um, etc. Um, so part two will be coming next week. Um, so in the meantime, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, the links are all below. Thank you. Okay, so now if we create um, an automation account, so if we type and search for automation. Okay, if we click add. If we enter our details here, I want to create one account. Click create. Okay, now we want to create a run book. Okay, so the run book we need to create is a PowerShell run book because that's the code that we're going to be running to, to shut down the VMs and start the VMs. So if we type a name, if we choose PowerShell, click Create. So now we want to copy the PowerShell from the, the links below and then paste. Um, so this is our code uh, to actually shut down and start the VMs. So we can see when we look at the code, we've got three parameters um, which will take uh, input from so we have a v, the vm name that we want to shut down we can split this up by commas so we can put in multiple names uh, we have the resource group name that the vms belong to um, and then we can um, decide whether to start up those vms or shut down those vms so if we save more if we publish from the toolbars if we if we now take a look at our vm states we can see server one server two and resource group two so we, what we can do here is we can actually test um, this code. So here are the three inputs. Um, so if we input server one and comma server 2 as we can see server one, server two, they're in resource group two. And then we want these VMs to start up. They're currently stopped and deallocated at this time. So if you now click on start, we can see shortly, um, and we're, we'll, we'll take a look at the VMs in a moment. If we refresh the VMs now, we can actually see that they're they're starting to, to power up. So server one is powering up. And now we can re refresh the job and, and, and take a look in the output window here. So we can see we've got a JSON output. Um, so we can see now that our servers are now running. So one and two are now powering up via this script here. So now that our servers are running, we can do the opposite and we can actually shut them down. So if we test the shutdowns, all we need to change is shut down there uh, in the action. And then we can run this. And then again, we can refresh and wait for the script to run. Take a look at our VMs in a moment. And now we can see that they're basically de deactivating and stopping, shutting down. So 
So we can see now the jobs completed, our JSON outputs given us server one, server two shut down, and we can see now that they're deallocated. Um, so we can actually schedule this within the one, but we're not going to do this in this video um, because part two of this video series, which I'll post next week, actually shows us using a, a logic app um, and then connecting to this uh, run book via the logic app and then extracting this JSON. Um, so we can do things like um, email all our alerts um, via uh, the, the JSON output and then get lots of results from that too. So um, stay tuned guys, please subscribe. Um, I'll post a video next week and then um, yeah, we'll go from there. So take care of yourselves. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.